Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel again, the Geotechnical Academy. In this lesson, I'm going to explain foundation in over consolidated clay for case C, which is pile draft foundation. In the last example, I explained foundation in over consolidated clay case B, which was raft foundation without the piles. But it was observed that the settlement of the raft foundation is high which was equal to 11 centimeters and this is a problem actually and it is possible to cause damage to the building to decrease the amount of the total settlement of the foundation in this case the drill shafts or board piles are going to be used and the, these board piles are modeled by using of embedded beams with a diameter of 1.5 meter and length of 20 meters. Also in this example, case C, it is assumed that the drill shaft piles are constructed in the same stage of, of the basement wall construction. Before I go to plexus and start modeling the board piles using embedded beams, I will shortly talk about uh, the philosophy of embedded uh, pile design in plexus. First, it is considered as a beam which uh, can <coughs> cross the soil volume elements at any arbitrary location and uh, orientation. Second, the pile is connected to the neighboring soils using special interfaces which are skin interfaces and food interface. Although volume is not considered a particular elastic volume around the pile which is called elastic zone whose dimension is equivalent to the pile diameter is assumed in which the plastic behavior is neglected as the shown in this figure a particular elastic volume like that and uh, the dimension of this elastic volume is equivalent to the real pile diameter also, the installation effects of the pile are not considered and the interaction between pile and soil is modeled at the center rather than at the circumference. Therefore, the embedded pile model may be applied efficiently in modeling the piles which are low disturbance such as board piles not in case of high dis disturbance. Uh, such as a driven pile. Also, if we compare the embedded pile with the volume pile, the embedded pile has some advantages. Such as when creating the embedded pile, no corresponding geometry points are created. Thus, contrary to the volume pile, the embedded pile doesn't give influence on the mesh, on the mesh as generated. Therefore, mesh refinement is lower and time for numerical calculations is reduced. Because of being considered as a beam structure, the embedded pile can directly give the results of force in plexus 3D output, which cannot be obtained from the volume pile model, which is assigned with soil material. In general, the embedded pile composing of line elements is considered as a simplified model of the volume pile. The material properties for embedded beams or the board piles which is going to be used in this example are taken from Plexus manual. So now I will start modeling uh, the drill shaft or board piles. I will open the plexus and I will open the tutorial one case B and I will save this uh, example under a different name I go to file and save project as I'll change case B to case C which is pile draft foundation and save ok so I will go to structure as uh, you see here it is the same example as in case A and case B uh, we have these are the 
pile foundation in here we had a column at the center of the building four columns you have here also for each column there is one board pile located directly under the column also four board piles at the corner of the foundation also we have the embedded beams so the intersection of the embedded beams and the basement walls we have board piles as just as the case is a and c due to the symmetry of the problem we are just going to make one quarter of the example like that so we have four board piles here so for creating the embedded beam I will go to create line create embedded beam So the this is the column and as we said one of the board pile is located directly under the column. The coordinates are 6 by 6 by minus 2. I will click and press shift and go down until minus 22. Click OK. Now I modeled one board piles. Also, now I will define the material for this pile. Go to show material. Change the set type to embedded beams. New. Board piles the elasticity is 3 times 10 to power 7 the unit weight is 6 diameter is 1.5 and Axial skin resistance type is linear. Maximum traction allowed at the top of the embedded beam is 200 kN per meter. and maximum traction allowed at the bottom of the embedded beam is 500 kN per meter and maximum base resistance is 10 to power 4 kN ok now I assign the embedded material to the embedded beams by dragging and drop. OK. Now I finished modeling the embedded beams and uh, assigned the material. So I will copy this. As we see in here we have four embedded beams or four board piles so by array commands I will copy this embedded beams in this direction and in this direction so I select the embedded beams go to create array shape in x y plane so number of column equal to a number of rows equal to distance between columns in x direction 
equal 12 and in y direction equal 0 and for number of rows distance between rows equal 0 and y equal 12 so like that now it's time to go to mesh stage generate mesh cores ok ok then we go to stage construction as I said before the drill shaft piles are going to be constructed in the same stage of wall and excavation so in this stage I will activate all the embedded beams now everything is finished I will start the calculation so the calculation is finished we go to view calculation results first we check the displacement of the raft foundation we go to deformations total displacement displacement in the z direction as we see in here the displacement is decreased which is equal to 64 millimeters so it's about 6.5 centimeters and in the case B it was 11 centimeters to see the forces in the raft foundation I double click on the raft foundation like that and go to force moment about one one direction also I can change the legend setting from automatic to manual for example if I change minimum value to minus 450 and maximum value to 550 and number of in intervals equal to 18 okay like that also if I want to see the forces in the embedded beams I close this window and click toggle visibility and press shift and click on the swivel volume so if I want to see the forces in the all embedded beams I click on the select structure and press control shift and double click on the one embedded beam now I can go to force and N which is axial load so as I see in here the maximum axial load is observed in the embedded beams which is located directly under the column which is equal 2046 kilonewton okay this example is finished and thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our channel have a good time